Bon dia! Mi nombre es Tazoe. Bendidos mi YouTube. Da papia di papia mentu. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have sat in front of the camera with you guys. As you guys know, I went on a two week vacation, which consisted of a 10 day cruise to the Southern Caribbean Islands. And I actually came back tan enough that I've had people telling me I look tan. And I have never had someone tell me I look tan because I don't tan. So apparently what I need to do was go away to some sunny islands in the middle of winter when everyone else is pale in order to look tan. I also got some poisoning out of it, but you know, besides the point. So you're probably wondering about that beginning. I made an attempt to do my intro in Papiamentu, which is a Dutch Caribbean language and it's most widely spoken in the ABC islands, so Aruba, Bonaire, and Carousel. So I learned a little bit, tried to use that in this video to show that I learned something while I was there, and I'll probably teach you guys a little bit more of the Papiamentu language during this video. So for today's video, I'm doing a souvenir haul and I'm showing you guys what I bought on my trip because pretty much everything I got is reptile related. Also ignore my nose, I'm trying my best. I am extremely sick right now, but I'm trying. So the first island we stopped at was Haiti and it was absolutely beautiful. And while I was over there, I did buy this little bowl container thing. Um, I really liked that it had the macaw on it. Macaws are my favorite bird, so got it. Now throughout this trip, I was keeping in mind my future house, my future reptile room, and I came across this sign. So I very clearly had to get it. All right, so here is my sign. So it's a welcome sign with a lizard attached to it. And the lizard does say Haiti, so I won't forget where I got it from. But let me back up so you can see it better. So that is the whole sign. Super colorful. Obviously perfect for a reptile house. Also while in Haiti, I got this shirt. So it's nice and lightweight, which I liked while we were there because it was super, super hot. And so it was a good addition to my wardrobe. And it has a reptile print on it. So obviously it's something that I will wear forever. So I went ahead and bought that. All right, the second island was Carousel. And this was one of my favorites out of all the ones we went to. First up was my shirt that I got from where we went to lunch. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. And that is the Iguana Cafe. I saw this when I was looking up things to do in Carousel when we were planning the cruise. And I said, we have to go. And then of course, all these islands have some of the same stores like Del Sol, where all the stuff changes color in the sun, Diamonds International, Effie, all that stuff. So of course we went to Del Sol. We had a coupon, why not? So I went in, got myself a color changing shirt with, of course, an iguana. Like I said, print everything I bought, reptile related. So I've got this iguana shirt, change color in the sun. Let me see if I can get it change color, hold on. So I gotta change it a little bit. You can't really tell, I mean you kinda can, like the glasses change. There's a little bit of blue there now. It works better when you actually go out in the sun, not just hold it up in your window. So Carousel also has an artist gallery where they have local artisans selling local artwork. And there was one called Serena's Art Factory. And that's where they sold Chi Chi's. Now, this is where you're gonna get a little bit of a history lesson. So a Chi Chi is a name given to the oldest daughter in a family because the oldest daughter tended to help out the mother a lot so she was deserving of a title so they call her Chi Chi so I got myself well my parents bought it for me since I'm the Chi Chi of the family 
I got a little Chi Chi sign. So it has a lizard on it. So of course this is the one I picked. And it says Bon Bini. You may be wondering what that means. There's another Papi meant to phrase. Bon Bini means welcome. So it's a little welcome sign with a Chi Chi and a lizard. So again, another good addition to my future home. Finally, on our way out of Carousel, we stopped in another little local artist place, and I saw this. I had to get it. It's another sign, and it's got a lizard on it, and it is my colors. It's blue and green. As you guys know, my room is blue and green. Green. And it was made in Carousel, so I love it, and I bought it. Treated myself. The next island was a Bonaire. Uh, Carousel and Bonaire were definitely my best two shopping locations. Um, Bonaire, I think, took the cake for my favorite island. This is where we first snorkeled, and it was an amazing snorkeling experience. The reefs were awesome. We saw a sea turtle, tons of different fish, a barracuda. It was awesome. So the first thing I got was from like a little souvenir shop by the boat where we got off. But I had to get it, of course. And it's a little iguana. This little iguana is a planter decoration. So he sits on your pots. And of course, since he was like bright blue and green, I had to get him to. I also got a copy of a watercolor painting from an artist in Bonaire. So he had a painting, or she, I'll have to look up the artist, had a painting of an iguana, a baby iguana that was blue and green. And here it is. So I bought a copy of this. I really did like the big print, so I treated myself and got this print. And I love it. Next up is a necklace that I got in the little artist market. And it is another reptile thing. So it is this lizard necklace. And just to make sure that it was actually done in Bonaire, I asked the lady selling it if she painted it, and she said her daughter-in-law actually paints them for her. So it was done in Bonaire, was handcrafted by them, painted, yada yada, and I just think it's so cute. Lastly from Bonaire, I got a photo album because it has lizards on it. So it's a little photo album made from sustainable materials and it has lizards on it. So I thought maybe it'd be cute for like putting really good pictures from my animal photo shoots in or something like that. So got that. After Bonaire was Aruba. So during our trip, I discovered that I have a new favorite like mineral rock, whatever you want to call it. And that is Larimar. So it's a type of pectolite and it's only found in the Caribbean. So it was kind of something special that I really wanted to get also because it is a gorgeous blue literally my favorite color if you have never seen Larimar look it up we were at Kay's Jewelers and my mom was buying some jewelry and they had Larimar pieces so we asked the lady that was working with my mom what is the most inexpensive piece of the Larimar that you have because it was something I really really wanted really wanted to take home with me we told her you know i just graduated from college and broke but i really really want a piece to bring home with me and so she helped us she took out all of the pendants for the necklaces because that's why we're most our necklaces and she gave us massive discounts trying to help me find a piece in my budget that i could take home with me so i ended up paying just around a hundred dollars but i got this piece from case jeweler in Aruba that's where we were and so you can see it's a gorgeous blue you can kind of see I'm trying to get it to focus also in Aruba because you guys know I like to shop local and find local artisan things I got this bracelet that's actually made from seeds from a palm tree and palm trees are my favorite trees you guys didn't know that so obviously had to get it and it matches like almost everything this is brown for my best friend because looking for something super unique to bring back for her and I was really struggling and I mean Aruba was our second to last stop 
And then my sister found these and so I got my friend one and it is a water bottle made from bamboo. So you take out the top here, fill it up, and you're good to go. You have a sustainable water bottle and it says Aruba on it so we know where it came from. But I thought it was super unique so I picked that up for the last island was Grand Cayman. So I didn't really get anything local and artisan-y in Grand Cayman because there wasn't really any shops that had stuff. So we went back to Del Sol because we had another coupon and when you spend over it's like when you spend twenty dollars you get a free bag. But Grand Cayman had personalized like Grand Cayman bags for Del Sol. So of course I wanted it. So I got this bag from Del Sol again color changing in the sun but it says Grand Cayman and it has stingrays on it. So a little bit of color change. The sun is going away. So yeah, but that's my bag. At one of the previous islands, I did get a different Del Sol bag, but I think we're gonna give this away as a gift for one of my siblings' teachers or something because I have the Grand Cayman bag now. Also in Grand Cayman, when you go on cruise ships, you get a lot of free stuff. Not only from the cruise line, but from the big stores like Diamonds International, Effie, they were giving away like necklaces, charms for a charm bracelet. Um, one of the stops though that was in Grand Cayman gave my sister and I free bracelets. We got these cute little bracelets. They are made from pearls from the South Sea. South Sea? Yeah, that's what he said. But yeah, it's just it's super cute. Also, I got another necklace. Thanks to my boyfriend for buying it for me. But this is it. It is a stingray with, what was it? It was like sapphires and colored something or rather. But what you get when you go to Effie, you get a free necklace and then you can upgrade it for like $95 to something like this. And so Effie, it was the stingray and I decided to upgrade it because I love stingrays. In Grand Cayman, we snorkeled with stingrays. So it was something I just had to get. So I'll see if I can get that to, and it even matches the ring that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Well, it won't focus, but you guys get the idea. I have a problem with filming with my phone instead of my camera. I can't focus on close up things like that. But oh well. All right, so that was everything I got from the islands. You now just a couple of goodies I got on the cruise ship because you know, they're shopping on the cruise ship and whatnot. The first thing, I got, I had my eye on from the beginning. Here's a tip, if you go on a cruise ship, you know, look around, don't buy anything unless you absolutely need it in that moment. Because at the very end, a lot of stuff goes on massive sales. And so this bag I wanted, it is a Nine West bag. At the end of the cruise line, the last day at sea, 50% off. But this is it. It's a little wristlet. It's cute, it's simple. You can wear it with a lot of things, but it's got your tropical leaves, which I'm obsessed with, and then little toucans. So I love it. So also on the cruise, there was one day where they had a shirt sale for the World Wildlife Foundation. So of course, I was there and I bought one. And it's super cute. It has a sea turtle on the side. And lastly, again, one of the final days, or the final day when they had those big sales, they had these little tiny purses for $10. Anyway, I got this little purse, because you know, snakeskin, hoping to be a reptile keeper, that's what I want to be. Cute little purse. Um, I don't like the gold chain, so I'll probably change that, but I like the little purse. And then finally, my last thing, I'm just gonna add in. Um, when we got back, we stayed in Miami, so of course, I went to the Miami Zoo. And of course, if you know me, you know I got a hat. So, I had a Miami Zoo hat. And they had tons of hats, so it's really hard to decide. But this one had a logo on it, so it's kind of like, you have to, it's got the logo on it. So this is my hat from the Miami Zoo. My boyfriend also bought me red panda socks. I love red pandas. I can't show them to you because I wore them and they're dirty and in the laundry. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching. Also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. So donkey.
which means thank you in Papi Amentu, Donkey, and Ayo, which is goodbye, also in Papi Amentu. So, thank you, and Ayo. Thank you.